Welcome back to another lesson. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to turn your room or any room in your house into a camera obscura. Any room that has a window. Here, give me just a talk, just talk, go. Oh, really? Yeah, go. Okay. So here is like what? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop recording. I want to do it myself. So this is the window that we blocked out. And then this is what is across the street. So, so if we do this right, what we'll see is this building on the inside, oh, inside of my room. Wait, we gotta start out here. Oh, we gotta go around the yeah. morning. Now that you've seen what the outside looks like, let's look at what the inside looks like. So here's my window. My window is a little big. Uh, you don't have to use a window this big. Probably find a window smaller. It'll be a lot easier. All right, so um, what you want to do, so this is my window, um, you just want to black it out. So just tape up like either, you can either use uh, construction paper, you can use whatever you want, as long as it's just blacked out. Um, but as long as you leave like a, a, a hole in the center, this is where your um, Obscura lens will go. Um, it's not actually a lens, it's just a, like a piece of cardboard you're going to drill a hole in. You can either drill a hole, you can poke a hole, you can cut a hole, however you want to put a hole in it. So it could be something like this. You could even use just a sheet of paper. Um, I have multiple holes on one board, so then I can like tape them up and try different holes as I'm going. Um, and then, yeah, you could even use some foam core. And another possibility, you could even just cut like a hole, you know, in like a black plastic bag and like tape it on there. And that'll work as well. The next thing you want to do is once it's all taped up and you have all the holes um, put in your board, or hole, you know, you don't have to have more than one. You're just gonna take it, and you're just gonna tape it up onto the window. Just like that. Okay? Like I said, um, I have multiple holes, but you know, just block one, block them off. Like so. Just make sure that only one of them is being used. And then, so once you have this set up, your, your holes are covered, or you just have one hole, um, if you turn the lights off, the image should then be projected in your room. We can't do it because it's a little too dark and it doesn't show up on camera, but I'll put a couple uh, of photos in that show us doing the process. Um, also, this you can also project onto these screens. You can use kind of like a diffuser or even just like a white sheet will do. And you can use it to kind of project the image onto. You know, you can kind of like test it out to see where where it's going. All right, that's all I got from you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry I couldn't show the obscura itself in the video. It was a little too faint. Um, it was hard to get capture on the camera, so I figured taking the pictures would be a little bit better way to show them. Um, if you have any questions, if you do the project and you have any questions, please uh, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. And uh, have the rest, a great rest of your semester. Thanks.